How's it going, Uncle Bill? Well, fairly good. Thought I'd come by and visit you before the holidays. Yeah. Kind of, kind of gets congested along about the holidays. You got a lot of people coming and going and visiting. Yeah. yeah. People taking, going and doing things. Yeah. You got big plans? Do what? You got big plans? No, no, nothing to know of. I figured you'd have the family over. Well, they're coming for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I mean, there's no big plan. Well, it's a pretty good plan if you've got well, people coming. Big plan. They come all the time. Oh, they do? Yeah. So you got Thanksgiving all the time? Yeah. yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. You know who I am? Huh? You know who I am? Yeah, I know who I am. Who am I? You're your old Dennis. Dennis the Dennis Menace. Dennis the I'm a menace to society. Right. Where's your boy at? He's down in Memphis. Oh, he is? Well, why don't you go down there and get see him? He don't want you around. Is that it? Kind of like you. I kind of don't feel comfortable around visiting with you. Well. And as far as I know, I ain't never done a thing to you. You haven't? Uh-oh. You don't think so? Uh-oh. I don't guess you have either. Well, how to, how, where have you been all this time? I've been still down at Weekly County. Weekly County? Uh -huh. I thought you were down at the lake somewhere. I was, but I ain't no more. I'm down there where we're dead. What did you ever do with the old truck you had? Still got it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're, you're driving two vehicles then? You got two vehicles? I actually got three or four. What are you doing so many? Just pick and choose. Depending upon what mood I mean. Well, you, you got to carry insurance for all of them. Yeah. 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 I have a floating policy. In other words, all I got to do is call them up and tell them, hey, I decided to be in this vehicle today. Yeah. And that vehicle was in church that day. Uh huh. Well, you, you're kind of high up and up there, then, ain't you? You're kind of high up. No. 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 I got a policy on two standard standing vehicles that way i have a multi-car policy along with the policy that i have on my on my uh, living dwelling but because i have two vehicles it lowers the price on both of them well, i didn't know that oh yes yeah yeah whenever you have multi-vehicles it lowers the price if well, you, you can only drive one at a time that's right you can only drive one at a time so you know that your two primary vehicles is always covered, but if I ever want to get in my truck and maybe go haul off some garbage or maybe go pick up some wheat straw, you know, I can always divert and call them up and say, hey, I'm going to be in this vehicle this week. Yeah. I mean, they don't want to do it. you got to have a last one for all of them. you got to have good tags. Yeah, you got to have license plates on there. you got to have good, yeah, good available up-to-date tags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, you, you're just you're out in the country. You don't have to buy city stickers or nothing. No. You buy a county sticker? Wheel sticker? Oh, I don't think county so. County wheel? You don't, don't have a county? You don't I have think county it's wheel? added in it some way or another. I think it's added in it. But anyways, Reba and Laurie and all of them going to be here to visit with you? You're supposed to be, yeah. yeah. Nothing going to happen. Well, good. Have you hit your... What is your, be your 88th birthday yet? 88? No, man, I ain't, but, uh, uh, now 88 86, man. Oh. You're trying to get me too old. <laughs> I didn't live longer than I thought I was going to live already. How old are you? 86. 86. My next birthday is 87, June 12th. What year was you born? 1933. Do the math. Huh? Do the math. 1933, 12 and 36 and 12. Okay. Maybe you're right. I'm sorry about that. No, I wanted to come by and holler at you. When I, was you born? I was born in 1961. You remember whenever I was born in Chicago? No, I wasn't up there. Let's see, 51? No, 61. 61. No, I went up there. You don't already come back home by then. Yeah, I come home in 59. In 59. 
Yeah, I didn't stay there five years up there. That's enough for me. Was it? Yeah. I didn't like that place. Let me ask you a question. Has uh, has Julie called you? Who? Huh? Julie. I gave Julie, Julie, your telephone yeah, she called out me. in California. She called me. I didn't know who she was. She said she's Charles's granddaughter. And uh, I, I, I was on my answer machine. I've been outside. I come in. So I just picked it up and I called back. And, 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 and said, her name is Julie. I Julie. Knew, I asked her two times and I don't could understand that she's got such a bold I couldn't understand her <laughs> language. <laughs> she thinks the world of you, man. How does she think that? She don't even know me. I've never seen her. She's known you from talk from Joanne and talk from Donna and talk from Carrie Lee and talk from your brother and, and Patsy. She knows you. She knows the family. I, I've never, I, don't, I wouldn't know if I seen her right on the street. Uh, you probably remember her whenever she was just about that little, whenever Joanne was living out down there at Kenton, uh, written from uh, Old Man Wade he, he, on that that house past, that house past Grandma's where that yeah, old cemetery used to be. Tommy, used to, Tommy Wade used to have a bunch of strawberries down there. Yeah, I know what you're Remember all the strawberries that Tommy Wade used to have? Yeah. God, he had the strawberries, didn't yeah. he? Probably had over a hundred acres with strawberries. Yeah, had a lot. But she lived in that little white house that the cemetery is directly in front of it, and there's, I guess, there's some headstones. She said she was 46 years old. Yeah, 40, 44. 44 years old. She's the same age as my son. Okay. I my son was born in 79. I couldn't really remember. But She's got an awful brogue or something. Well, she's been out west. You know how they are out, out west. They, they don't talk with that northern brogue like she had. She had a kind of a northern brogue. Well, she, she said she'd been there, come out there when she was 12 years old. Yeah. What, what did she come with her daddy? I went out there with her daddy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Who is her daddy? That would be Joanne's. First husband, uh, Freddie. Okay. You remember Freddie, the one that got in trouble that was in jail? I, I remember Freddie, but I don't remember her other husband. I don't remember seeing her. She was married again. And I don't... I don't You're talking about Joanne now? I'm talking about Joanne. When she, then she uh, married again? No, she never married twice. She didn't? I no. She did. Uh-uh. No. Now, Julie's been married up until this past year uh, to a... Srisigo or something like that. He's got kind of a weird and, Italian and name. You said her name, Julie. 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 And, and she says she had kids. How many kids she's got? She's got four. Four. One girl that's already in college. A boy that's over eighteen. Well, she says she wasn't married right now. No, she ain't married right now. And then she's got two boys. One of them is probably about ten or eleven, and the other one probably about eight or nine. So she's got a house full. Uh -huh. But I, I don't, I don't ever remember seeing her. Is she the youngest daughter? No. What's your, who's the youngest? Angie. Joanne left. You know, she left, and, 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 and I don't know if she ever come back around no more. Joanne was the flower child back in the hippie era. She's the one that had the big bell bottoms and the beads, and she was the free love and the peace child during the, during the Woodstock era. Her and Danny used to hang around a lot together. Yeah. Remember Danny, my I brother? Remember, I remember Danny, yeah. I remember Danny well, but I don't remember her. She was probably just knee high to a grasshopper whenever. Now, do you remember Johnny? Yeah. The boy? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't remember Johnny. Yeah. I don't remember any Joanne kid. Like I told you, she left. Of course, Donna was up north. Well, Donna married a fluke, too. You know, Donna married somebody that wound up going... Yeah, I know he did. Dressing in girls' clothes and everything yeah. else, being a transvestite. Well, she's married, and she I married think, an older man this other time. And, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, that man that Donna married wound up had, uh, wound up uh, abusing Carrie Lee. And Carrie Lee had to go get had to go get counseling over it. So did Julie. Julie wound up being raped by her own dad. Huh. I didn't know that. 
You but, remember whenever Charles, your brother, was living down in Crump, down by Savannah, Tennessee? No. Yeah, he lived that. That was whenever uh, 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 Shane had the bad motorcycle wreck, yeah. and it broke Shane's leg real bad. You remember that? No. So Charles and Bobby, all of them left. They, they, they left. They went to California. They stayed and they stayed and they stayed. They didn't stay but about a year. Uh, I know it. Then, then Dad I come up, back and then I went went up until, until and Charles then, come back. You went up north. I went up north and then they come up north. And then and we you, all went to, was working at the same place. Body craft. Body craft. Body craft. We worked. I don't know how long I worked there. I probably worked there three years. I don't know. You made some good money, right? Well, it went all that good. Probably pretty good money then. Three dollars and a quarter an hour, and I guess that was good money back in the 50s. Wow, yeah. I don't really know. And Charles, he left, and Bobby left. And I don't know where Bobby went, and I don't know where Charles went then. Charles come back home, and he, he went to Ford Place. And he went somewhere else. He, he moved around a lot. He, he didn't stay. And then he went back up to Chicago to where we we stationed up, up down there at the old home place down there where uh, Dad's mother and father was yeah. raised up at. Well, down Bobby, he was out in out farming. Uh, farming. No, up north. He was around the lakes. Round lakes. Round lake. Round yeah. lakes. Yeah. yeah. And then we moved to into another area called Antioch. I don't remember that. You don't remember us living in the Antioch area? No. We lived in an old house that Al Capone used to live in. No, I don't, I don't remember. She got home from school. How did that and then Bob and Betty they left. I don't know where they went. We come back here. We come back to Tennessee, and by that time, I guess you'd done already started your business, hadn't you? No, I didn't start my business till '74. Oh, you didn't? Uh -huh. Where was you working at until then, down in Tennessee? Dyer Motor Company. Dyer Motor Company. I worked. I went, to, I went to work the Cadillac place over at Humboldt, and I come back to Dyer Motor Company. They wanted me to come back. I was already working there, and I quit, and they wanted me to come back. Okay. I come back, and I worked there 15 years, because they sent me to GM Training School down on Summer Avenue. Right. And I stayed there until 1974. May, April or something, like 1974, I went to business for myself. Can you turn that TV down just a little bit? Turn that TV down just a little bit. Um, I'm just about I'm just about to start to get hard of hearing. Uh, but Julie, Julie, uh, Julie wanted me to uh, document you and take a picture of you uh, pertaining to you looking almost identical to Jesse James. You look looking like Jesse James. Nah. Yes. Nah. Yes, you look a lot.